Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Herbit Craft. I have 101 experience everyone. Look at me go, I'm such a pro. <laughs> anyway everyone, just quickly at the beginning of the episode, um, there's an Enderman behind me. Oh he's gone, thank God for that. But also you may have noticed that I've been um, AFK for a while and I have to apologise for that. Um, it's summer holidays so um, time for me is hard at the moment. Just maybe a little bit here and there with episodes at the moment but obviously if you don't want to miss out on the video please make sure that you have hit the subscribe button down below and then it'll go in your subscription feed you know and then you won't miss it when I go live with a video but anyway everyone today I've been away a while haven't I and I have heard that I've made some monies so um, I'm gonna fly on over to the shopping district oh wow this has changed a lot blimey oh it's so cute oh there's also a lot of arrow blocks everywhere. What the hell is all this? <laughs> What's going on? I would, you know, try and follow these, but I feel like I may be on a journey that's not going somewhere. <laughs> and they point down, so I'm definitely not going over there. But anyway, that's not why we are here. Ooh, there's a new one here as well. But in here, look! 64 and 58 diamonds. Oh my god, this is doing so well, this shop. Does it need restocking? <gasps> Oh, dearie me's. Oh, the dark's doing all right. Oh, we're not doing too bad. But look at that! Oh my god, this is such a cool shop. Any who's, well, now that I've now made my diamonds, and I will restock, I promise, I have a plan for today. Oh, and I match perfectly with those blocks behind me, don't I? Look at my top and the arrow. <laughs> anyway, distractions. So I have a plan for today. And I don't know if any of you remember but i think like in the first few episodes of making the new base area over in my acorn i made some signs and one of them was use amethyst i've never used amethyst in a build and i feel bad amethyst is like the best block ever and i haven't used it but that's gonna change today because also on my board is self-sufficient stress so, um, we're gonna go and collect it ourselves. Meaning I'm going to collect it. But first and foremost, I'm gonna put my diamonds away. They need to go somewhere safe. Oh my, look at that. So to be able to use amethyst, I need another pickaxe because my pickaxe just has silk touch. And I've noticed that my helmet is nearly dead. Yeah, I'm not intending on getting any fights today. So uh, we'll leave that to another day. I do, however, need the pickaxe, which means I need to go over to my geezer and buy one and disenchant and all that sort of stuff. I do feel bad for leaving these geezers at the teapot, but I can't be bothered to move them yet, okay? Classic. Hello, geezer. Please give me some of your goods. Thanking you. Now, the question is, what librarians sell efficiency and uh, fortune? I don't know because I haven't set them up like that. They are just purely my glass geezers. So fingers crossed I have them, eh? <laughs> Otherwise, that would suck. I'd have to use some of my diamonds. Don't want to be doing that now, do I? Aha! Efficiency and a fortune. Perfect. And now 101 levels. This is where we part. That um, is, of course, when I've worked out how to make a grindstone. <laughs> totally not a noob. I remember how to do this stuff, surely. And no, I didn't totally just uh, fly to my mason geezers and hope that they had the grinding stone. <laughs> no, I didn't do that at all. Figment of your imagination. Trusty Google comes through for us again. Yoink. Nice. So now that I'm down to 73 levels and now that I've made a mess out of my base, I can go and be a self-sufficient stress, you know. Go get me some amethyst. So where does one find an amethyst geode thingy-majig? I believe it's down here somewhere. Oh, there's an iskul. Um, her, her. Oh, it's here. It's here, I think. It's here. Yeah, totally being a self-sufficient stress right now. Ooh. <gasps> Look, it's so gorgeous. I was just checking my helmet and I see that there's conduit power. That is amazing. Good job, Isco. All right, so how does how does one do this? Oh, oh my God, this is the first time I've mined it. That's very sad. Oh, it's so beautiful. This looks so cool in here. I want one of these. But like I said, self-sufficient stress is obviously a mouthful, but we are doing it. And I believe that fortune works on these, right? 
How do I see? Oh, I need to float to the top. We've got loads already. <gasps> I love it. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? What a... I'm good. I'm good. Nice. You alright? Do... do you need something? <laughs> what are you doing in my farm? What do you mean? <laughs> this is the weirdest thing. <laughs> Why are you I'm, in my um... farm? I'm collecting amethyst, you know. <laughs> I'm uh, being self-sufficient uh -huh. stress. Um, so I'm in the amethyst stress. farm. Yeah, I'm collecting you in... amethyst. But you're in my farm. <laughs> um, How is that? Well, That's not self-sufficient. Um, well, it kind of is. I'm using a fortune pick, you know. I made the pick myself. And I'm um, mining... <laughs> <laughs> I'm mining Wait. the amethyst myself. You know, that's self-sufficient. You have just arrived... In my, you have just taken the liberty yeah. and arrived in in my. Wait, in my farm. I think you've got some of my amethyst think... in your hand. Actually, do you mind if I have that back? Um, it's it's this taken is, quite a while. This is my to... this is my amethyst. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, why... all right, my bad. Okay. Sorry. Okay, this. Okay, so how is this self? Stop! What? This is my... <laughs> this... What are you? How is well, this self sufficient? I thought that this was like our joint farm. You know. I thought... And how did you think that? Well, because, like, with the There's gold no farm, sign. you know? I thought it was a, a joint thing. Um, I we built the I gold farm together. It, you? I swear you said, stress, this is our joint farm. No? Not that I can remember, but, I mean, maybe I'm getting forgetful on older days. <laughs> maybe, the gold... yeah. So yeah. your logic is, we built the gold farm together. So now, So now this is your farm. Well, that's a joint farm, isn't it? You know? <laughs> Is that not so the case? You're so weird. <laughs> You're so weird. Self-sufficient uh, stress, you know? I've got to keep doing it. I, I can't let everyone down. And what are you going to do with my amethyst? Do you mean our amethyst? I'm not gonna say our amethyst. This is this is really strange. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna build you a bit, you know. You, know? <laughs> you could have sent the message. What, saying I'm what? You some. Saying can I use our farm? That seems a bit weird. Do you not think? <sighs> if this is gonna be our farm, then you have to contribute somehow to our farm. Oh, I thought I already was. No. I made a pick. <laughs> yeah, but that's, and there you go. You're that's... sucking that stuff up. Look, look, look out here. I But okay. This place this place needs this place actually needs some sort of design because it is absolutely terrible at the moment. <laughs> so I'll tell you what. Alright. I am up for sharing. Sharing is caring. Okay. okay. And we do we are neighbors. You gotta help out your fellow neighbor. Okay. Oh well, I then... thought I already was, but okay, yeah. <laughs> My goodness. But then <laughs> Yeah. We have to, you have to help me design this place. Make this look better, better storage room, that sort of stuff. Because it, it, this is something that I have on my to-do list. I wasn't planning on doing this today. <laughs> but, I mean, it feels like this is my life now anyway. So, yeah. yeah. Um, it, hang if, on. If you are and to... this And this means then that, you know, I get to take from our farm whenever I want. Is that what that means? Yeah. You get to farm from... You can't just walk up to my chests and take... The chests are in my oh, house. Oh, wow. Hello. <laughs> no, not hello. Okay. Just, just... Ooh. How good of you to farm on this amethyst. Yeah. No, <clears> I'll help. But anyway, yeah. So, so cave... Cave, cave sounds good. And stuff like that will be great. And yeah, if you get started, I'll be back in a little bit. I just got to go to a meeting. So I'll see you <laughs> in the... I'll see you a little bit later. I see how it is. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so is this what you was looking for anyway? With is this wide enough? Like I'm really I'm really not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. So I'm just digging whip. I don't right know now. either. I've just been digging, but it, it's funny because it looks like we have done approximately <laughs> the same so far. Despite um, my meeting. So what have you been doing? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I've been I've been digging with no haste. Yeah, it sucks without the haste. <laughs> um, uh, I I don't know. I just picture this. I don't like this tunnel, this corridor. So it sucks. Are you wanting to make this like massive from this end as well? Then this is such an awkward part of the base. 
And I, I just want it to feel integrated better. If you want it to feel integrated, surely we should just open the whole thing up. Hmm. Are you say are you saying what I'm thinking you're saying? What's that? You get the gunpowder, I get the sand. <gasps> okay, so the first thing we gotta do is figure out how oh oh there's haste here. Yeah. Ooh. Oh hang on, is okay, this we gotta a new figure out entrance then here? Well, I don't want it to be another tunnel, so I'm willing to blow this area up a little oh bit, but I, we got to figure out how close we are in connection. What are you doing? You're going in from the top? Yeah, we need to open this up a little bit. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Well. Okay, do you want to do the honor? Yeah. Do you want to run and then ignite all the TNTs? What one? Oh, I have to do them all? Okay, I'll start from the back then. Maybe, maybe I should do this. Oh, <laughs> no, it seems like something I should do. <laughs> No, it's not. YOLO! It's, no, you gotta hurry! You gotta hurry! No! You gotta get the other one! Are you You gotta die! No, I'm not. <laughs> I fell! Oh no, this was not a good explosion. Hang on. No, stress me! <laughs> oh, for goodness sake! You should start from the top, they fall down! It looks good! Oh. It's. <laughs> Run! What? I'm standing right there! <laughs> This is uh, fun. Oh look, it's yeah, one yeah. arrow I missed. Nate, don't, don't. No, <laughs> I just placed that. I was doing it blind. Okay, give me, give me the flint and steel. Give me the flint and steel now. That is not for, it's not for children. Give it here. Oh my goodness, okay. You should not be having flint and steel. Aww. Yep. Yeah, I think that. Oh, do you know what? I think you should leave it like that, and we just um thing it up. If you come back over here, look, it looks really cool the way that it's all dug down. I think that looks really good. It like, looks like it in looks it, like no, a creeper explosion. No, wait, wait, wait. Obviously, it needs lighting up, but look at the shape of it. Yeah, the shape is not lighting up. So it needs cleaning up. Yeah, that's what I meant, tidying up. But the shape looks good, I think. I feel like I'm starting to get the ceiling to feel like a natural cave. Actually, this is pretty cool. I think this looks really good, actually. You've done amazing with the ceiling. How about I add a crack in the ceiling of Amethyst? Ooh. I feel like I have a tendency to overcomplicate things. <laughs> no. Build, a, build an you... Amethyst storage room. And then I'm, this is where it's taken me. Where would you get such ideas, eh? Originally, I was picturing just having chests put down in the middle, but you think hidden is better. I think we've done, like, a really good job and having, like, chests <laughs> just, like, yeah. placed out. They look a bit ugly. Okay, check this out. Okay. Check this out. Yes. Step on. Ah! Ah! Nice. Now go and go and harvest some, okay. and I'm gonna stand here and see if they arrive here. Okay. Starting okay. now. Starting. Starting. It may take a while, actually. Yeah, because <laughs> they have to flow up. Oh yeah, it is working. It is. Wait, I did. I didn't see it. Oh, I didn't see it, but oh, I think it's working. I'm collecting. Do it again. Do I'm, it doing again. It. I'm doing Collect. it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes, it's flowing in. Is it? It's nice. flowing in. It's actually a pretty dumb storage system, I just realized as well. Because I didn't alternate the hoppers. It's, it's fine. fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Am I free to go now? <laughs> <laughs> makes, makes me sound like I kept you hostage this entire afternoon. If only I didn't get caught. <laughs> <laughs> A skeleton killed my helmet. I wasn't planning on getting into battle, like I said, but a stupid thing. I've even got the bones to show it. Oh, man. Me poor helmet's gone forever. Bless it. But again, I'm still not going to do anything about it because I'm not planning on getting into battle again today. But everyone, I have now collected a fair amount of amethyst from our joint farm with Iskul. And I am a man with a plan. I want to now start developing our area into something a little bit different. If you remember, our starter base is the beautiful teapot that we have over in Spawn. And I was so inspired by my own build that I wanted to do like a Alice in Wonderland-y type, theme -y type thingy-majig. 
join along with what we already have. So as you all know, we have a foresty theme going on with a lot of logs and greeny colors. <laughs> <laughs> and basically colours that fit in beautifully with the dark oak forest. But everyone, that is about to change because uh, this is me we're talking about. And we've got to get some bright colours going on. So we are going to start moving out in this direction here. And probably end up expanding out here, which wasn't initially what I was going to do. I was initially going over into this area here where it's squeezed, but um, yeah... I don't want to intrude, you know. So over here will fit perfectly. And in this beautiful chest here is my amethyst and some logs. Because we are building a different type of tree today. One that just screams mwah. So let's grab a few stacks of these. And I'm thinking this area should be perfect. So right there is where I'm thinking we will do our beautiful, new looking, unique tree. And I'm just trying to think where I'm going to put these roots, but they're not very important right now. <laughs> but as I was building this, I was thinking that possibly we should do one right here as well. So that we then have like a transition, right, from our log type area. Then we move through and then this could be like a little walkway. I think that'd be so cute. And then obviously uh, I need to empty the dark oak forest as per usual of the many different trees or, you know, mushrooms and that type of thing that we have going on in here. So if I start building a trunk type area here, we can see what it looks like, right? Does that sound cool? That sounds like a plan to me. Okay, so bearing in mind I haven't built this tree up, but this is the beginning of another sort of area here. And then I'm thinking they go up and then they're all nice and flowy and they look absolutely amazing. And this leaf here is not despawning. Leaf, you are not attached to that tree, okay? Please be gone. And also by placing this tree here, I'm probably gonna have to get rid of these dark oaks, which didn't really want to do, but maybe if we just move that one and that one, it should be good, right? <laughs> I'm trying to keep as many, like, dark oaks just laying around as I possibly can so that it doesn't lose, you know, the essence of it being a dark oak forest. Because I don't dislike these trees. I just, you know, would like a little bit of space to build something that I want to build rather than being surrounded by the dark oak trees. <laughs> oh, I'm hoping you know what I mean, because at this point I'm just waffling. Ah! Zombie mate! Okay, I'm not gonna lie, he scared me, which is really, really sad. <laughs> but I said I didn't want to get into more battle today. Rude. Leave your remnants there, and they do not deserve a space in my inventory. <laughs> wow, so toxic today. I think that should work for now. All right, well, let's uh, finish that one up, shall we? Just as the sun's setting. So first, um, I shall go sleepy buys. And did another zombie die behind me? Where are they coming from? That is the other problem in the dark oak forest, is that um, baddies just spawn and try to murder you in the middle of the day. It's absolutely beautiful. Glad I chose this biome. <laughs> wow, the sarcasm is real today. Seriously, zombies, like what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> They're just coming out in like so many like one died there a second ago. There's got to be like a cave or something over here There's got to be it's ridiculous <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they're just coming from that spot, but everyone I finished a tree oh, I love it. Look <laughs> It just screams me doesn't it this mushroom though. I'm sorry mushroom you're kind of in the way a little bit, love. I'm going to have to remove you. Maybe I can replant you at some point. But for this build, the red and the <laughs> amethyst is just hurting my eyes a little bit. Now nah, let's have a nosy. Oh, yes. I love it. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Oh, my God. I love it so much. I could even maybe add... Oh, I left this... Look. Clean up your mess, love. Even maybe add some more here just to make sure it's a bit lower. <gasps> but I love it. <laughs> it is so, 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 so cute. Hopefully nothing spawns on it and it stays pretty, you know, decent. But that, it's amazing. It is missing a couple of things though. Because of course this isn't the only state. 
A family fist we can get? Is that what I can use? Stay? What could be the right word there? To be fair though, I can't even remember what it's called, but I want some of these buttes. <gasps> I just ruined it. Cluster. It's a cluster, everyone. And need me, oh, let's put that one back actually. <laughs> Oops. And need me some clusters in my life. I want some of these clusters though, in all shapes and sizes. So I'm just gonna sit here and, you know, just uh, mine the little geezers up and the big geezers and hope that we get a variety going on, you know? Why not, eh? Um, also, I don't think I have enough to finish my next tree. I have two stacks and one bit, which could prove to be annoying, <laughs> to say the least. But I've got me fortune pick just in case I've got, you know, AFK over a little bit. I'll tell you what though, everyone, I'm well happy that we built this farm. <laughs> this farm is proving to be very useful in my new self-sufficient stress endeavors. Such a pro. <laughs> okay, I can't even say that without laughing. <laughs> I think this should be enough clusters, right? And I did collect some more of the blocks of amethyst as well, just in case. So uh, let's go and add some little final touches to our beautiful tree, shall we? Oh, it looks so cute, look at it. <laughs> oh, I love you tree. Never thought I could love a tree, but that tree, I love it. It sounds so pretty doing this. Oh, I love it so much. Why have I not used these before? Why am I such an amethyst noob? Okay, anyway, I have now placed all what I think should look all right. Oh, mate. Trust me to take out the one that's not the one that I needed to take out. All right, let's have a nosy at that. I'm hoping that it looks absolutely amazing, even though I'm not doubting the amethyst skills that looking amazing. Let's go all the way up here. And let's have a turn around. <gasps> oh, my God. Uh, look, mate. <laughs> please just leave me alone. No, please just burn before you come here. Thank you. Zombies are so toxic today. I'm absolutely loving this tree though, everyone. I think this is just so amazingly cute and gorgeous. It's like my favorite thing ever. I'm in love with it. I think now though, we should build another one. What do you say? Should we build this one now? Well, I'm gonna do anyway, to be fair. <laughs> this is so amazingly cute. I absolutely love it so much. Apart from that, I need to, um, I need to change this. Oh no, noobness in full swing. That'll do. <laughs> Perfect. But oh my god, how amazing is it? I'm I am genuinely so happy about this. They they're just gorgeous. I have no other words. They're just I love them. I just absolutely love them. <gasps> Look from this area with the mountain in the background. Man, that is so cute. So like I was saying, this is going to be the beginning of our new area. And what we're going to do is we're going to go probably, well, we need to build a pathway of some sorts, but we're going to go from here, go straight through this center bit here. And then eventually we're going to open this up, but not too much. I want this area to feel kind of like enclosed, you know, like in the forest section of Alice in Wonderland where it's got all like the signs and everything. I'm taking inspiration from that. It's not gonna be Alice in Wonderland theme per se, as in I'm not gonna sit and copy the builds from there, but like the feel of it, all magical and that sort of thing, that's what I want. And I think putting it in between these two hills here is gonna help with making it feel kind of enclosed and like, what happened to that? That wasn't me. Who did that? <laughs> Oh my god, the poor mushroom. It looks like something's taken a big chunk out of it. Something got hungry. But yeah, having it in like this little enclosed area here, I think is gonna look so, so, so cute. So is there anything that you'd like me to build in my Alice in Wonderland type thingy-majig area? Let me know in the comment section down below if you have something in mind. Like I said, I'm taking kind of inspiration from my teapot and that sort of thing. So it will be kind of themed towards that. But yeah, if you have any ideas, please let me know. I'd be really interested. What? Seriously? <laughs> There's another zombie. Oh, man. But where do we put this? Do we have this going into our log? Or should I put a hole in the log here? Decisions, decisions. I think I'm going to go around. I think I'm going to connect up to 
this path here. So I'll have to move. I don't know. <laughs> Terraforming galore. My, it's my life nowadays. Oh no. <laughs> okay, that's a botch job. <laughs> so if we have it like coming through here, don't really want it so straight though. It's kind of ugly, but we can maybe do something with that in the future. But there we go. I've got to ask you all something. Does anybody remember a very, 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 very old series of mine? Back before Hermitcraft, I had a series called The Middle of Nowhere. And in the middle of nowhere, there was a tree. And that tree was called the Sacred Tree of Gorgeousness. And now we have a new Sacred Tree of Gorgeousness because we have some amethyst which we didn't have back then. <laughs> back then it was a birch tree, but now we have our beautiful new sacred trees and they are definitely of gorgeousness, aren't they? <laughs> I love it. Anyway, everyone, for today, I think we're about done. Let me know down below if you're excited about the new area starting of the base. And if you enjoyed today's episode, then please give me a thumbs up. It's always appreciated. And if you really enjoyed it, then please hit the subscribe button. So everyone, I'll see you all next time. Bye!